Hi there. So I just wanted to say, first of all, um, thank you um, for acquiring me about this reading. So this is a personal reading, but the person who is getting this reading today felt the need to share this or felt that maybe somebody else out there and watching my channel or just somebody across this video may also resonate with this um, message, this reading. So I just want to say thank you again for even informing about that, but being so kind enough to uh, be generous and sharing this as well with somebody else who also will resonate with this. So that's really kind. So I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for the receiving you. So I'm going to give you some good luck just because I want to send it to you my way. we got this Reiki here going on on my phone. Oops. Well, hey, guys, I'm going to get a new phone, by the way. I'm going to get an iPhone from it's not a new one, but it's a one of temporary. So this is a replay for good luck. And it's come from the Vine Love Light. The Vine, what is it? The Vine White Light. It's a YouTube channel. So shout out to them. I'll make sure to give them credit in the description box below. So this is Rike. Sending you some good luck vibrations your way. And right before I do this reading, I'm going to do a little stage here too. I had to go get a new lighter. Because mine just happened to run out because I, you know, stage new candles. And, you know, and I'm at the gas station late. I just, like, asked for a lighter. And she happened to give me this. So I felt that was very much a sign from the universe. That was good. Like, good, 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 So when I was driving back from the gas station just to get a lighter for this, for the for video, I was like, you know what, that's definitely a sign. With all these colors here, the rainbow. And flashing, it's gonna be, you know, you're gonna be abundant. I feel it coming your way. Always gonna have that good vibration. And that's part of what I do with the channel and my job is I'm here to inspire people to lift them up, to bring them hope, to make their day better. And I hope to send those good positive vibrations your way, the energy exchange. So I'm gonna send this, but I have to do this part here because where I'm gonna do your reading at my new temporary desk um, is right underneath my uh, smoke detector. So I don't want the detector to go off. So that'd be pretty bad. And I also have this little little lucky cat right here that was printed off from a 3D thing. I know it's just a little 3D printed out cat. I don't know if you can see very well. But if you ever, or if anybody ever knows the history about these little cats or the Chinese cats, it's like, you know, the ones that look like this. Um, I guess the real story about this is, you know, I'm back. Let me see if I can get a good view of him. Kind of hard, he's white. See, this is 3D printed. Isn't that crazy? It's my little lucky guy. Um... Yeah, I don't know if you can get a good view because the lighting kind of sucks on this. But anyway, so the story, I guess, with this is that, like, you know, back in the days, like, you know, I'm not sure what time, but, like, you know, probably, you know, that culture time. Uh, I don't want to be ethnically incorrect, so, but I guess the emperor, you know, was like, I don't know, I think he was, like, walking out or something. I'm not exactly sure what happened. And this cat, apparently, or supposedly, you know, a story has it waving to the emperor and so the emperor waved and bent down to like you know i guess wave back to him and when he was doing so i guess this like arrow or something went over him which saved his life because he was being attacked like probably from the mongols or something i don't want to be incorrect so it's not but you know what i mean so if there is somebody who's watching this you know but that's the story which much like this emperor comes out and his cat's waving at him so he bends down and while he was doing so this arrow just flies over him and so I ended up saving his life, and so that's why they had a cat with a little waving thing. He brought him good luck because it saves your life. And I know, like, the gold one's supposed to bring you abundance. The white one, and throws bring you another one, and black supposed to bring you something else. I don't know because my phone's right here playing the Rike for you. So if anybody knows that, put it in the comments below. That would be greatly appreciated. If not, maybe I'll try to do it later. I just want to send you extra good luck, and three is always a good number. So I just want to send this to you because I just feel it. Because I also, like, you know, need it myself. So we're going to stage here, and then I'm going to pause this, and then move over to the desk, and we're going to do your reading. As well as, remember, this is a personal reading, but this is also for anybody else who may resonate with this. And if you guys are interested again in purchasing or getting a personal reading with me, all my information is in the description box below. And I want to say thank you again to this person who is reading this for They know who they are. Thank you again for sharing this with, you know, anybody and everybody else. Because that's really kind of me. Because you guys do have the option when you get a personal reading to either receive it um, by link um, where only you can see it or you can share it publicly. And I'm also going to start doing them with Skype sessions or if you want to, you know, get an email reading, a reading or phone reading, you can, you know, do so through AstroFame. But their prices vary and are different compared to what I offer. So, yeah. 
Um, I don't know how to describe it yet. Somebody just asked me a day about that. I was like, I don't even know how to do it. So, but I'm, I'm working on this. Anyways, let's just give you some light. This also helps to clear out anything, you know, any negative energies. Just help to clear out things. It's always good to start things clear. Um, also, the things that can help you out is simply like cleaning your room, taking a walk, you know, you know, anything that's, you can't live a positive life with negativity and it's hard because there are things that happen. But I remember I just had somebody say earlier, and my nose is going to itch. Here we go, guys. She goes, well, how do you clear out energies? You know, crystals work. Do chakra meditations like I said the other day? I think right before I was going to do a green, I had to do that to um, just kind of clear myself out. You know, frequencies to help raise the vibration. You know, things like really um, cleaning your room or opening the window or pulling out the weeds in the front yard. Things like that. Like, it helps you get rid of things that no longer serve you. And you definitely got to remember to stay in positive vibration and high vibration. It is hard sometimes. I get it. But try to. You can't live a negative. You can't be positive and live a negative life. Think of like a canvas. One little black spot, it does kind of change it. So I'm sending you just good luck, positive vibes. I'm clearing out anything and everything that no longer serves you. Make room for everything that's meant for you. So it's going to burn really. So like, light it. So... And I wanted to at least have this go until the Reiki, so you can get the whole Reiki. And Reiki is something to do with seeing good vibration. I don't know exactly what it is, but I'm very interested in it. So we're going to send some good luck to you. So if anybody who's watching this and it's not your, the person who tried this video and this is too long, I'm sorry. But you have to have the full Reiki effect to get the full effect of the good luck. So that's all I can say. And sometimes patience is, you know, virtue. I was actually listening to you today before I started work. Um, the frequency sound, because I usually do my research, I just try to learn more. It's become a hobby of mine as well. It's, and I was listening to one about reconciliation and forgiveness, and it was like really cheering. And I'm going to put their um, information shop below. I don't know the name of it, but it's a great account. And thank you so much because, like, within like four or five minutes, I was already tearing up, and I was like, wow. And it's like when I had like a subliminal voice. And I was like, wow, because it not only helped me to get the one thing I wanted to inquire with that for, but everything. And it was just like, wow, like, it was only for me long. And I was like, you got it, you got you got Go the whole way. If you don't finish it all, you don't get the whole effect. So, you know, some people are impatient, and I get that we are America, but if you rush anything ever in life, you can ruin the chances of it, the effect of what you're trying to do. Sometimes you have to take time. Sometimes you have to let things run its course in order for things to work the way they're supposed to. Because if, some, if you rush anything and it's not the right time or it's not done yet or, you know, there's still work to be done, then it's not going to be how you want it. And then you're going to be mad more. And then you're going to also pause most likely and have to do it all over again. And it's going to be a tough breathe. Recognize that, you know, it is what it is. Jesus Christ, it's not, it's just not lying. Oh, shoot. Smokey the bear says, don't. Forget to put out that fire. I love Smokey, by the way. I actually have him on my dresser, you guys. I'm not kidding. I think you guys can see. See? That's Smokey the Bear right there. Let me see. Right next to that geisha. Let's see. There we go. That's Smokey the Bear. I swear to God. I really love him. I think he's cute. It also reminds me of my dad. So here, look at him. We got peacock feathers. That's my calendar. I haven't changed since, like, November. I think we are... I don't know. My phone won't let me show... We are 10 minutes into 12 minutes, so just a couple more minutes, you guys. Hang in there. I did start this before I start the video, so as long as you guys get the effect, because I just want to say thank you again for Divine White Light, because I love your videos. I love your channel. I actually have a playlist. I think that's public for anybody. You can actually listen to their Reiki stuff, and it works. And a lot of it's just the mindset, but there are things sometimes that really do help. And if this stage would burn more, but it doesn't want to, but as long as it gives you the good luck. Send, I'm sending out good vibrations. I'm receiving those good vibrations. I'm sending out those happy vibrations. I'm receiving those happy vibrations. I'm sending out those loving vibrations. I'm receiving those loving vibrations. I'm sending out those positive vibrations. I'm receiving those positive vibrations. Good vibrations. Good vibrations. Happy vibrations. Happy vibrations, loving vibrations, loving vibrations, positive vibrations, positive vibrations, 
Yeah, no, I made a video about that too. That's the song I sang like here today in the car. So I think Holy Movie, we're at 12. I'll put the lyrics after that too, but it's pretty much, I just made it one day, like, you know, because those things work, you know, positive affirmations and stuff. So I just really want to see you good life. Just because I want to do it, because I also need to have it in my own life too. <laughs> I need the courage, dude. We all need the good luck. Who doesn't? And, you know, I want to be giving. So, yay. Okay, so now I can start your reading. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this real fast and move it onto the desk. I'll see you guys in a second. Bye. Hi there. So, okay, we're back. So, anyways, um, today we're going to be using the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck by Darlene Richie. Um, but I also felt because of your personal situation, um, that I was called to pull some cards from the Angel's Answer Oracle card deck, again, by Doreen Virtue and Maggie Valentine. I love this deck. As well as the Butterfly Oracle cards for Life Changes, again, by Doreen Virtue. It seems if I always get older cards, I don't really have a favorite person. I just want to just like cards, whatever that I resonate with. And the messages from your Angel's cards, again, by Doreen Virtue. It's what your angels want you to know. So we're going to use all of the 44 cards from the um, Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck. And I already meditated in your situation. Even yesterday, because I said I tried to record this three times. I think, no, four times. But my cat wanted to put his black kitty butt in my face and walk all over and stuff. So they, and then they weren't really resonating with me, the reading. So this wasn't meant to be yesterday. So here we are today um, on May 30th. 2018, strain us again. So maybe it's lucky day and it's 1134. I always say a number. And so I'm going to use all those cards and I just, you know, shuffled again, meditated with the other ones. And then certain ones I um, set aside. And how we're going to do is we're going to do a storybook reading, which is a new reading style I'm going to do. Maybe you guys have seen this before. And I kind of just go like, you know, back to back. And it usually makes sense the story. Okay, and here we go. Itching. And I'm going to offer this for only $7.11 right now if you guys want to get it. Now, until beginning the 1st of July, because this is going to be June coming up, and it's going to be a very tight month for me financially, because, like, my registration's due, my smog, my insurance, I'm going to pay all off, my back breaks, and it's not that I don't have the money, I do, but it would be nice to have some extra money, because I'm having to get a new phone and glasses, and so, but I'm also doing it because I also want to do it for you guys, like, that's all another thing, and, of course, everything I'm giving you guys is something I want to receive in return, so, and June's very magical for some reason. I feel really excited about the summer. Not that it never was, but, you know, after I think you got out of school, it's not as exciting. So, and it's supposed to be a good month for me in June, one of the four signs. Um, if you're a Taurus, Aquarius, Libra, and oh, I think it was Aries. I'm not entirely sure, but there's one more that's supposed to have a really good month in June. So, and happy birthday to Gemini, too. It's your month. But anyways... So Starbuck reading, what it is, is you just kind of choose a deck. You can choose one of my 44 decks. So either the Magical Mermaid deck, the Angel's Answer, the Romance Angels, the Messages from the Angels, or the Butterfly Oracle cards. And it just goes back to back to back. So there's no specific question. It just see how it goes. So it's Storybook reading. And I chose 711 because it's like my manifestation, you know, wish come true number. So yeah, anyway, so we're going to get right into the reading. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, start laying out the cards. And if I feel drawn to, I'm just going to pick up another one. And we're going to just see what the, you know, God and the universe and the angels have for you to say. So, again, thank you so much. And thank you for sharing this. So, so first of all, the first card we have is it's a call in need to explore your options. It's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make changes. And that is, you've already done that by, you know, contacting me to see, you know, if there's anything else you can do in your situation or your life, or just looking at, you know, even if it is, you know, by like, you know, exploring your options could be, you know, like looking at different advices or maybe talking to different people if it's like a legal situation or, you know, maybe you need to have more than one opinion. It, you know, whatever your situation, it may vary. I know the personal situation of this person. But maybe, again, since this is being shared, um, everybody's situation may be different. But it's also maybe just switching up something every day. Even if it's as little as taking a different way home from work or doing something different in the morning. You know, if you do something every day, even little by little, you will see changes. So depends, again, how that resonates with you. 
So this flipped out. Any ones that flip out, I'm going to use them as a major arcana, which means they are more significant and more powerful or more, um, have more, you know, good luck, so to speak, than others. So we have divine magic. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. I'm also seeing this as like wish upon a star. So, so far, it's definitely, you know, by, you know, you exploring options, you know, and you believing in the magic of life and the universe and just the process of things, miracles will be happening. Miracles will come your way. Such as a treasure chest, an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now, like I said. And how you can do so is by music, by listening to music. To manifest rapidly, think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music, or maybe dance, or just get creative, especially during the moon when it's like this, because this will help bring, you know, clarity and healing to your situation. It's when you let go and just allow things to be and just really get into the feeling of things, a positive vibration, that's when magic happens. And again, like I said, watch your thoughts. It's important to only think what you desire, not what you fear. So always try to think of what you want instead of what you don't want. When you allow, you know, fear to come into your head, when you allow, you know, assumptions or judgment or any positive, I mean, anything that's not positive or uplifting or at the high vibration of love or what you want in your life, then you're allowing yourself to be set up for that. And who wants to do that? I was all hoping it was a text message. No, it's just my 15% bad. <laughs> so, hey, you know, maybe, you know, you might get a text message. We might be the omen. So always try to be positive. It's hard, you know, because, you know, we're life. We're humans. It's going to be in our head. But try to, you know, stay in the highest vibration. Like I said, I just sent you a whole bunch of good luck, you know. Try to, you know, use it to the best of your advantage. Um, as well as I was just reading earlier today an article. I don't know if you guys know. It's a book called The Four Elements. The Four Elements, it's by Miguel Ruz. Actually, he has another one called The Mastery of Love as well as The Fifth Element. And it was about, um, the th article was number third one, which is about don't make assumptions. Don't expect the worst, expect the best. Even if it doesn't manifest, still put that out there in the thought. So, and person who's getting this knows what I'm talking about. And again, oh, I just said that again to watch your thoughts, the double whammy. So I just want to clarify that. And there's a need for you to rest. To, you've been working so hard to take a nap and get some rest. But I feel this one more. It says to rest your mind, rest your, you know, you know, your worries, rest your troubles. And, you know, even if you have to take a rest, you know, even if things aren't entirely better, when you wake up in the morning, you'll feel better at least. And you'll feel refreshed. And things usually go a lot better than when you're kind of doing things when you're not have as much energy and so forth. And for this too... I feel like this is more with resting with your daughter's situation and that, you know, rest onto the situation that she is protected, she's taken care of, and that, you know, you guys are divinely protected. You, especially with the answers you gave me, you're so highly divinely protected. You have no idea. And yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. And like I said, affirmations, morning affirmations, the positive affirmations each morning to Open the gates of manifestation, especially to start your morning right. So, oh wait, we got one more card that wants to go out. I guess we're going to take a break after this one. Oops, wrong one. This was actually when the ones to go forward. <laughs> Can't do that backwards. Empowerment. You're more powerful than you realize. It's safe for you to be powerful. And since that came out backwards and it's supposed to be forward, all you got to do is just turn around. And I bet you that even if, you know, that will make things a lot more clear, and know that, you know, you already have whatever is inside and you're a very powerful person. You've been through a lot that, you know, know that everything happens for a reason. And this is all to help you to have this empowerment and to give this empowerment to others. I really feel that you're also very much a light worker and that this is all going to be like one day a blessing in disguise. And this is going to help you to be like fearless in a way. So I'm calling to pull one of these cards. And by the way, this reading won't be this long from everybody else. This person, this is very special. So I decided to do that. If you believe, if you believe, whatever you believe, you manifest. So try to believe again in things that are positive. Know that you are very much protected. God and angels are got you back. Even if things don't make sense, know that. You know, believe in the best, believe in positive. You know, all you can do is believe. And, you know, even if situations look hopeless, if you believe, you have a better chance 
at making things a lot easier in life. You have a better chance at manifesting things you want. You just have a better chance of bringing about the change that you need. It's also calling for you to look for a sign. Possibly, maybe there's a sign that sticks out today here in the video. It could be something next day. It could be these messages. Maybe something next day, you know, in a couple of days. And I was actually meditating on a situation earlier, and I was I saw a lightning bolt. So I would, you know, maybe something that is significant, or maybe even something back then, if you do some thinking, something with a lightning bolt might be very significant, might help to bring you some kind of answer, so to speak. Or maybe it will come as quick as lightning. And then we have yes, again. So you got two yeses here. So we got to all positive here so far. I have a saying that's actually on the internet that's uh, quoted. It says, I can't remember exactly what it says. I have the quote somewhere. Um, I don't want to say it wrong, so I'm actually going to go ahead and Google it. So I'm going to pause this real fast. Okay, hey, I'm back. And I guess I just realized it after I was going to go Google it. But um, pretty much, this is something that's like, I don't even know. Like, when I was living at home with my dad, so I'm at least six years now. But this is, or maybe longer, maybe been like six, seven, eight years now. But the quote is, for every negative that comes along, I'm going to attack it with a double positive. Um, I live by that. And, you know, I mean, I know it's not easy. So we're going to go back to Magical Mermaids cards. As, and we have worthiness. Know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. And you believe that, like I said. And, you know, believe that and, you know, live this and stuff. Again, no matter what has happened, no matter what you've done, no matter where you've come from, no matter the mistakes you made, you know, every day that you're alive and above ground and breathing and not, you know, in jail or not in the hospital or not, you know, able to live your life, you know, so to speak, that's another chance for you. That's another chance for you to make things right. You know, yeah, sometimes we get ourselves in a mess. The only way you can do it from there is to get yourself out of the mess and to learn the lessons that we need to in order to not repeat them. But it doesn't make your worth any less. It actually makes you worth more because you are even more needing to and deserving of love and to receive good things and know that you are and you will. And I feel moon cycles with the, you know, this moon that we just got into this thing in Sagittarius or, you know, with the crescent moon, something about the moon cycle. So I also feel that this is a cycle. So it's just a cycle like the moon and it's going to change. And to make a wish. This is a magical moment, make a wish, and enjoy its manifestation. Seriously, go outside and wish upon a star. And that friendship. It's, I do see that there's a need for you to make a day, you know, a girl's day, just to go out and hang out with friends, you know, one or more friends, or just to go outside and just, you know, surround yourself with people that are friendly and want the best intentions for you. Um, because that will help, you know, again, to lift up your spirit. And we all need a friend. You know, and, you know, you're always welcome to, you know, open up to me. I'm your friend. And I hope to be like waiting for everybody else. Or, you know, know that, you know, you have people out there that care for you. And they want the best for you and they're there for you. And more. Oh, yes, we have more. And know that you're protected. You're, you and your loved ones, your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. Again, to the moon, as well as your daughter. I feel that. Oh, wow. I was going to go put them back, but okay. Oh, wow. So I guess we have to go through these for a while. And there's also a need for you to simplify your life, to eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. Kind of like what I was saying earlier about clearing out the clutter. Like, literally, it, it's some people, it's silly. It may be, you know, some people may be, have to actually do it. But cleaning your room, taking out the trash, pulling the weeds, that's not only, you know, cleaning but it's, a, you know, showing the universe and God and just, you know, to yourself that you are not tolerating the trash. You're not going to allow your life to be chaotic. You're not going to allow things to overgrow that aren't serving you no more. And by, you know, taking out the trash and opening that window, give some fresh air and cleaning your room and organizing it and pulling those weeds, you really do that. You really will pull the weeds out in your life. When cleaning up your room, you know, you show you're organized and you're clean and it your life gets that way because a lot of people, I mean, I I know personally, I don't favorite study, but those who live with, you know, stuff all over the place and, you know, they live chaotic lives or their lives are in balance. But when you take the time to clean your room and you pull those weeds, 
You know, it's those little things like that that really do make a difference in the world and in your life. And, you know, it's also saying to simplify, you know, simple, keep life simple, you know, and that will help to kind of make, you know, any craziness simple, simplified. And again, a rainbow, the light coming your way with a bubble. So again, I see that there again, there's a need for you to go out and have a good time, play time. The dolphins know the importance of playing. This joy creates miracles and manifestation. And I was like, you know, like I said, kind of lift up your vibrations. I really, really in trying to send that. And I hope that anybody else who watches this, maybe you guys can just send it to whoever watch, also watches this. Anyway, you guys can do that. And this person, because everybody just right now, we can all, we, we can never get too high. At least, you know, cloud nine, right? And there is a need, it says, it's time to move on. It's time to let go of the old and mourn out so that the new can come in. And what I feel with this is that, you know, the tide has come and it's wanting, you know, to let go of this old, you know, mindset. Let go of everything that's no longer serving you, like I've been saying. To let go of this, you know, old cycle it's wanting to wash away. And, you know, I see this, you know, this woman here, she's kind of looking back, you know, she's kind of still like tied to that in a way. And change is hard. It's always hard. But, you know, even if you want to change, it's not always easy. But when it's time to let go and move on because it's worn out, you got to do that. And you got to not look back. You know, if you need to look back to reflect and, you know, be appreciative of everything that, you know, has, you know, transpired good and bad or take the lessons learned, it's okay. But life's all about moving forward and, you know, with the tide of things and flow, you got to go with the flow of life, you know, and in doing so, you're going to have, you know, brighter days ahead of you with this blue and these pink clouds. A lot of love is, you know, you know, in the back, just waiting to come towards you. But first of all, you got to look forward. So I keep seeing these cards here. I'm not supposed to be doing that. They keep flipping around. So I have to read all these ones that I'm seeing here first, and then we'll go do the other cards. Because I'm feeling like I bet I have to do what I see. And these are all the ones that are flipping. So even though we have this one first, I do see that there's a need to end for you to allow yourself to receive. And allow others to give you loving care, receive without guilt or apologies. I feel this is like the universe more telling me that they want to give you, they want to give you and your daughter a chance to, you know, Receive good things, receive positive things, receive healing in the situation. You know that your you and your daughter are very much again protected and you guys are gonna be able to, you know, rebuild and have each other in your life and you know, do the mother and daughter thing and allow yourself to receive whatever the universe or you know, maybe those who care about you and close ones want to give you and receive without feeling guilty or apologetic. It's okay to be loved, it's okay to be nurtured. I know it's hard, especially for people that like you and me, but you've got to allow it, you know, don't feel guilty about it. It's those who really feel guilty are the ones who need it more than anything. So allow yourself to be washed anew for these positive, loving vibrations that want to give to you. Now that you've walked away from what no longer serves you and understanding to go with the flow of things. I do see there's a need to wait, whatever, maybe if you have like a yes or no question, I do feel this card is saying for you to wait and not rush into action right now to buy you time for better results. Because there's blessed change on the way, a major life change brings great blessings. And I feel with your situation, you know that there's always a light in the tunnel. You know, even if you feel that your world's turned upside down, you can only turn around everything. I was just saying also earlier today is usually when everything, excuse my language, when the shit hit the, hits the fan or when everything looks like, when it's just like, you know, horrible and horrible and horrible and horrible, and you're wondering why. Yeah. yeah. Sorry again, I know I've been paused. So the kitty has come in, Mr. Kitty, Mr. Ninja. But that also reminds you that you've already had magic within you. Hopefully this time we won't have to do a fifth one. But, um, you know, know that when you're down and out, you can only go up. You know, once you hit rock bottom, it you can only go higher. And like I said earlier about, you know, when shit, excuse me, hits the fan, it usually happens because either you can be under a psychic attack because, meow, I love you, handsome, he says meow. Or because, you know, there are going to be times in your life where things are, you know, good and things are bad because it's the value of life. But that usually happens also right before something amazing happens, right before like a life-changing experience happens, right before something that like will change your life or change your world forever happens. 
and this with the splash changes and I feel that even like I said if things look gray and weary you know that there is a light in the tunnel and I feel that this is also part of the splash change that's gonna be coming around and so it's soon that things will be looking right side up again. Yes handsome there's also a need for contemplation time and time alone and time upon what you desire. This will help to bring about this blessed change into your life faster. This will help also for you to create a new future, a future in the life that you want. Now that you have a cycle coming to an end, a new one beginning, definitely spend some time outside. And again, know that you're being helped. Heaven's working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see the results yet. Faith is having, you know, the belief and trusting in the unseen. That's what it's all about, knowing that there is, again, that better tomorrow. And to stay optimistic, your dreams are true, are coming true. But don't quit before the miracle occurs. And even if the roads seem windy and never ending, and you know, you know, you had to go, you know, all these different detours along the way, one way or another, you are going to get to your destination. So now I'm filling with these. Uh, we can do these now. These ones and messages of the angels. And we have Archangel Uriel. He's telling you that your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you to release anger and unforgiveness from your mind and your heart. Definitely. And definitely, maybe, you know, if you're going to do chakra, definitely work on the heart thing. It's always very important. As well as the solar plexus, which is vitality and your health. But all of them, you know what I mean? Um, I actually just go on YouTube and just listen to a whole bunch of ones that sleep at night. But... And we have this little thing right here I'm looking at. It's from these crystals. I'll give you guys a moment to touch it. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Hi, hi. Say hi, Ninja. He likes to say hi to everybody. Yes, you're not going to do it at the time, though. So I'm going to let you guys look at this real fast. No, you're not going to go up on here. You're not going to ruin the video if it's time. I love you. And go down. Go up. Apologize about that. So hopefully you guys got a chance to pause the video. Just so you can understand, because chakras, when you do, when you align yourself, your life also aligns with you. So next I'm seeing we have Shante. I'm an angel of peace. I bring new, you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Oh, we have one card that flipped out here. I forgot this one. This is a beautiful one. I love this one. We have crystal. Have faith and hope because there's something positive in you in the horizon that you can't see yet. Just like I said earlier about having faith in the unforeseen. And again, know that there is a light in the tunnel. There's a bear tomorrow. The worst is behind you, even if it's not exactly all the way done yet. But, you know, just knowing that it helps you get through the days a little bit better. And I'm also seeing from Sonia. She brings you a message from a deceased loved one. I'm happy at peace and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. If there's not anybody who may have passed, you know that, you know, this might resonate with, then this is somebody that's here on earth. I don't always consider this one somebody who's deceased necessarily. This is someone that may be separate from you or not away from you or just has a message that, you know, maybe you haven't heard from a while. And they want you to know that don't worry about them, that they're happy, that they're at peace, that they love you very much. And again, do not worry about them. You just take care of yourself. You know, they're okay. They just want you to be happy and at peace. And they want you to have love and experience love and be loved and to not worry so much. Without the cat knocking over everything. Yes. And then we're also called, before I go back to the magical mermaids, we're well away. Support. Know that you very much are supported again by the universe, God. You've got my support. You've got a lot of people who are watching this video support. So please, people, leave some positive, uplifting comments on here, okay? I really appreciate that. you got ninja support, even though he made me do this like five times. And to, you know, work on your self-care. It's very important. Even if you don't feel like, you know, you need any self-care or you're not feeling like it because you're feeling blue right now important to work on that always because you know you have to give yourself love first and every care you want in order for it to come back to you you know god helps those who help themselves i'm telling my nose always itches you guys this is like a thing that for people who do this like where the nose don't itch and i do see if there is sobriety that's going to be in your future 
if not already. And this is good because it's going to give you much more vitality. It's going to help you to be more aligned spiritually, as well as, you know, with your awareness and things and your communication. It's going to even help with your heart chakra. I see all the chakras here. And it's going to just help to, you know, make things better, you know, life's better, you know, selfish, I say, you know. And if you guys don't already know that my brother is somebody who's been dealing for a long time with um, addiction. And I know that a little myself as well, not to anywhere to his extent, but I've had a DUI and, you know, I made mistakes too back in the day, but definitely. And sober can just also be like sober from, again, things are not good for you or just, you know, living a clean, healthy life. So, but that's a very good, very good omen. And again, I do see there's a need to forgive yourself, forgive everybody else, and just be forgiving of the situation because there's nothing you can do about it now. And forgiveness really will set you free. So let's go back to the mermaid ring. No? Oh, I was going to say, I thought he was going to appear, guy. Pick up my feet. He already broke that, guys. Just to let you know that. So, well, I'm going to take that as a sign because... We have one cat, you see there? You guys see this, what I do with That one cat here is gonna walk on my top of my TV right now. How does anybody like, how do you guys situate that? If anybody knows, let me know, okay? It's because I do see there's a need to pay attention to notice rep notice repetition signs and your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. But if someone can just help me notice what it is for now, how do you guys keep your cats from climbing on top of your DVD player and your TV thing and knocking over the fake tree here and breaking the vase that was already broken? So but I'm gonna take that as a sign though, is that you know, this experience that you're going through has definitely knocked you down. And it's like, you know, timber, and it's probably even shattered you. But this is because there's going to be ways for prosperity and new abundance and exciting opportunities to wash over you now, like I said. Timber! <laughs> I do see there's also a need for some father healing. Your personal power increases as you give any father-related issues to heaven. Even if you have a good relationship with the father or, you know, maybe the father of your daughter, it's always important to make sure that there's complete 100% healing and anything that may have, you know, forgiveness. Or maybe, you know, somebody who's a father role or something like that. Or very much important masculine role. Somebody maybe gets older. So we always are not perfect. I'm telling you guys, I got cats walking over the place. No more cats after this. So I do see, again, like I said about the... That's cut out my nose. There's, uh, you know, the self-care. It's very much important to take time and, you know, experience tranquility. You know, much time to relax, to be still, and enjoy your solitude, indulging in much-needed self-care. I really feel that that would be your first step. Besides, you, you know, cry me off the screen. Take a bath. Relax. Do some self-care. Paint your nails. Do, you know, anything. Because that's a step in the right direction. And that's, you know, uplifting your vibration. That's giving love to yourself. And that's always hard to us. But, you know, and also, like, they have that flow therapy stuff. If you can do that and experience that, let me know how that goes. I always want to do that. So I do that in my bathtub sometimes. I'll be in my jacuzzi bath with the candles. And I'll be like, ah, oh, so it would be like. I do see that there is something about self-employment um, in your situation or maybe in the future. And maybe something to do with that father healing. Maybe somebody that's that father figure that um, may not be somebody who's self-employed. And that there is a need to make a decision because I see that you are feeling stuck and in indecisive. Listening to your intuition as well, and this will help you make a decision. And now that you have the Midas touch right now, and every project you, that every project you begin will turn into gold as of today, because we're seeing so much luck, you know. And I also feel with that to try to, if you make a goal, even if it's silly, even if it's like something that you know halfway through you don't want to finish it. Finish it just to do it, just to finish it. I feel that that will bring you some good luck. That's something I'm working on myself. As well as this will help you to set your sights higher and again, wish upon that star. Increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Expect the very best. Don't settle for anything less. And like I said, the waves and stuff, you know, and the tides of things. This is all because there's a new dawn ahead it's a new dawn tomorrow and i hope that when you watch this if it's in the morning that this is the start of the new dawn literally 
and know that the worst is now behind you and positive and new experiences are on the horizon. I really hope that that is tomorrow. And again, there's a very much, very much, that is one of also the keys that will help you out. Self-forgiveness, we all need to work on this. Know that you let go of old guilt and remember that you are God's perfect child. This will help things that manifest things faster. This will help to bring out any, you know, negative energies. Try to vibration. To have faith because your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. I really feel maybe going outside looking up at the sky or the stars or something really will help out. And like you see these clouds, I really love your sky deck. You know, there's some stormy ones, but there is some, you know, hope in ahead of the, you know. Just have faith. Keep looking forward. Keep looking up. Because up's where they got the answers. That's is who's going to save you. I'm just a messenger. And again, I'm sending you positive energy as well as to remind you to surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. That will seriously help your life out. And now, like I said, there is a light at the end of the tunnel and it's just waiting to come through. And, you know, surround yourself with your soul family, with the dolphins here. Keep moving forward. They will help you. And again, there is, um, with you and your daughter, I do see there's going to be something with the situation. And this is going to help you as a mother. It's going to help you and your daughter, you know, once the, you know, things are a little bit more calm, the waves are, so to speak. And I don't know if you had another kid. I can't really remember off the top of my head right now. Um, but, or just, you know, in general. And it's saying that as your feelings toward your mother are for yourself healed, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. So, so far what I'm getting into this is it's definitely a need for self-forgiveness and everything for yourself, for anybody who's ever hurt you, for situations, for things that may have not panned out, just expectations that let go. And definitely self-care. Just a lot of self-care, forgiveness all around, you know, surround yourself with positive energy. And those three things so far are going to make a world of a difference. And it's not that hard. You know, it doesn't solve all the problems here, but it definitely is a start. As well as being open and accepting to heaven's help. And because you prayed for help. So get out of the way and let heaven help you. Again, like I said, look up. That's who's going to be helping. That's who's going to save you. And open your arms. Don't feel guilty about receiving help. That will be the fourth thing I'm hearing. So we're going to go back to these angel answer cards. We got a cat here licking himself in the back, you guys. He does that a lot. And again, like I said, forgiveness is a big key. We all need to do that. But I'm telling you because forgiveness is blocking things. Forgiveness is keeping your lower vibration. Once you forgive, it's going to be like, oh. And that's not always easy. There's, you know, so many ways to do the forgiveness thing. And I'm so sorry about the nose thing. So um, I can't really tell you how that is. It's your personal situation. But forgiveness comes within yourself. Just has self-love. So when you forgive yourself and you give yourself self-love, even if it's like some days you don't feel it, even if when you know you are screwing up or messed up, that helps you because you got to be your own best friend. Because, you know, if you don't forgive yourself, love yourself, who else can? The cliche sayings are very much true, people. I may be only 29, but I already know this for a fact. So, and I can't wait because i got some hair extensions. They're coming in the mail. It's not that my hair is not long. It's just that it's really thin at the bottom because of the haircut I gave myself. And I just... I just want longer hair, so I'm excited. We'll see how that turns out. And this is a very special necklace. This is my um, guardian angel necklace. I shave on my birthstone here. And I believe that's not one of your favorite stones, but um, violet is your favorite color. And amethyst kind of goes along with that. And there is very much three, 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 three are very much like special numbers for you. Like you're all, everything's really, even if it doesn't seem like it, they're actually all connected. But this represents my grandma and it's my guardian angel. And again, it's once you know that you're protected, watch over for it. And know that there are big happy changes. Just be open to receiving. Maybe sometime during the summertime or under the sign of uh, Leo, you know, this might happen. But just be open. Once you've forgiven, once you've given self-care and always practice that and being in this positive energy, even going outside in the sun for 30 minutes, an hour every day, that's vitamin D really makes things a difference. You know, um, you know, just being at the high vibration and just being open, open to whatever, you know, open minded about your situation, open to life, open to the universe, open just in everything and not having, you know, certain expectations, good or bad. Then these big happy changes, this blessed change will come about. 
and it'll be very healing and it will just be, you know, very, very good for you. I do see when your situation that there is going to be compromise here, that the scales will be balanced and that you will receive a fair, you know, verdict, so to speak. And you know, don't worry about it. Um, if here's anybody that you may need to contact when it comes to your personal situation, maybe somebody who's a Libra or surround yourself with Libras, they always balance people out. Maybe someone who's a woman who kind of looks like this. I know it's really hard to see that. But they might balance out. But know that everything will be balanced out in the situation. And as long as you also keep yourself balanced, this will also help the situation to balance out. As you see right here, they're, even though they're balanced, they're a little bit off. So, but know that, that you did have a question about that. Um, and I do see there is going to be a fair, um, you know, verdict when it comes to this situation and that, you know, it will be fair and just and um, nothing too harsh, not, you know, it could be always good. I always wish the best, but that will be fair for you. And that may not come about also until Libra time. And again, I do see that the situation is improving. Again, wish upon the star, look up because that's the one who's going to save you. Don't stop the lean. Keep going with that soul family. Keep going forward. They're the ones who are going to help get you there. So we're going to finish this reading. This is hour long. And this, like I said, again, for anybody who's maybe interested in storybook reading, I'll probably do another video just explaining that. It isn't this long because I use only one deck, but we had some uh, interruptions here. So those may be signs, maybe a timber falling down, maybe a phone vibrating, maybe a vase breaking. Um, yeah. And then we had the read case. So that's not the usual, but this person, I just want to give you a little bit extra because I just want to do that today. So, and I hope that everybody who does see this video and if it resonates, please only give positive and loving vibrations and energies, not just to this person, but to everybody because we can all use that. So there's also um, something about synchronicity here. Um, your prayers and questions and are being answered by synchronistic events in the system in order to increase their flow. Just like I said, you know, omens and stuff. Synchronicity is, you know, things that are coincidences or repetitive signs or like things from the universe are don't happen every day. Like, okay, um, we got the cat here again. Here we go. You also want to remind you again that you already have the magic within you. But like, I was praying about something like a few years back, like at a park, and I was praying, and like after I finished praying, I walked down because I was at the park going home, and I seen a woman right when I was like leaving the park, and she's wearing this shirt, she's walking around, and it says fear the fin, which is fear the Lord. That's what it means in the Bible. And I was like, okay, so you know, that it was like confirmation, God got my message. And then I also heard, overheard this couple talking at the park about the exact same situation that I was just praying about. And their situation was very similar to my situation I was praying about. And I was like, oh, wow, like back to back. And I went to church the next day. And um, I actually happened to be featured on the pamphlet at church because I was baptized. And it was about love. And I was like, yeah. So that's the thing. Or one day I went outside and I was like really positive. I was like, you know, dancing, listening to music. That always helps me out. Kind of feel good. Even though I ended up having like a really bad day. I think later that day. Um, but I went outside and I see this uh, sugar glider and I don't even know if you guys know what that is. You have to Google it, but it looks like a flying squirrel with a raccoon tail. It's like a, it's gray and has like the wings and it had like a raccoon tail. And I was like, what? I'm just seeing it glide from one tree to another. And I'm like, to my roommate, did you just see that? Did you just see that? I go, no. I was like, I just see a flying, you know, squirrel, but it had a raccoon's tail. So I ended up spending 40 or 30 minutes. I'm sorry. I saw 44 for, for and I always say number two, so that's really good luck. Um, but I ended up having to spend about three minutes on Google, like Googling flying, you know, squirrel, raccoon tail. I don't know how many searches it was. Before I found out what it was, it's a sugar glider. There's no sugar gliders in the city of where I live in, in Southern California, okay? So either somebody's pet went out and got loose, but I meant to look up what that meant as the animal totem. It means take a leap of faith. And it was so beautiful. And I was like, there's a sugar glider tree. Let me go get it. But that's a sign, you know, from the universe. There's things like that. Pay attention to things like that. Or another time when I was walking and I was coming back home and there happens to be this random flyer on the street. And the random flyer happens to be a person that has and still holds dear to my heart, no matter what, their favorite band. And I was like, and I was just thinking about them because it was like when I was really hardcore. I mean, not that I'm not, but um, and I was like, okay, so I saved it. Like, you know, what I mean, things like that. Even yesterday, I was pulling up my drawer and I came back. There's like a feather in my thing. So things like that, you know, pay attention to those. And that also helps make things more magical in your life. This came out like twice this day. I was in your reading. So 
Um, there's definitely, you know, a saying, ready, set, go. So I do see, you know, with move forward, just the forward movement, you know, this will help to bring things, you know, better days. Now is the perfect time to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. And I also feel with this, it's also now the time in and just to go deep within yourself, to, you know, your feelings about everything. Now is the time. Don't hold back. And that means, you know, go full throttle, you know. Um, in order to have it all, you must be willing to risk it all. And that can be love as well as being vulnerable. So, you know, you have to go all in. Don't look back. And when you do that, you know, the universe usually has your back. And, you know, Killer Whale, Hill Shamu. To dream big. Let go of small thoughts about yourself. See yourself succeeding. Think big, dream big, positive. I really feel that you're going to one day look back at this situation and it's going to be going to actually maybe this might have something to do with your life purpose or definitely something about empowering people. But this is actually helping you to get to the higher level because you're not living at your highest potential right now. You have so many more beautiful things waiting for you. You just got to believe it. Don't set yourself lower. And when life, when you're in the wrong path, life is one way or another going to take you where you meant to go. And sometimes it'll shake up your world like with a tower moment. And it may be like, you know, confusing and stuff, but it's because it can't stand you to see you wasting the life that you're not meant to live when you're supposed to live something greater. So know that. That's how I got this. And this is actually another one of those uh, synchronicities with his hat. Uh, one day, again, it was in the middle of the street. Don't worry, I washed it like 20 times before I even wore it. And then it actually says something else, but it says saving people. And that's what I'm doing now, I'm helping to save people. However, that resonates. But I mean, there was a magical time. I kind of missed those magical times back in 2015. Not that they don't still happen, but I think it's because things like that. Now it's all messed up. <laughs> Maybe some of you guys need a haircut. Oh, no. <laughs> Anyways, somebody I know thinks I'm cute, right? Um, I do. <laughs> I think I'm cute. You have to. Um, but not that it's not that I miss those magical moments, but I'm kind of ready to have this uh, spiritual journey over. You know what I'm saying? So that I can just do the next part of this fun thing and hopefully get what I've been waiting for, too. Which is actually a soulmate relationship. So hey, hey, girl. And hey, hey to me. Ooh, ooh. A new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. And this will also be something very healing. Part of your whole soul family here. Like, it's going to be unified. I mean, talk about, I just said, you know, synchronicity. That's a synchronicity. That's a, no coincidences. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so there's possibly, you know, maybe this situation, um, I'm clear cognizant, and it's like, you have this knowing, but sometimes you don't know, and like, sometimes, like, let's say, this one guy, if I can put his information down to a will, um, I can't remember, I'll just put their information down, 3-3 three, three again, so definitely it's a number, but um, it's something about, you just have a knowing, lit. and let's say, in his example, when things, he's talking about, you know, you're, you know, you feel you're supposed to buy his house, but then three months later, three, you know, it breaks down all of a sudden, and you know, you have to call this, you know, contractor and plumbing, and you're like, why? But it's because it was leading you to the soulmate. Maybe the situation is leading you to the soulmate of yours, if you don't have that already, or just somebody you can be spiritually, you know, bonded to, if it is not a romantic basis. But it's very much healing, you know, like I said, everything happens for a reason, and again, light, seeing the tunnel. Maybe if you are single, maybe somebody in the medical field, see a hairstylist, it's a hairstylist thing. Um, the sign of the snake in the Chinese sign. Um, somebody loves dolphins, but very sweet. I'm so happy because that's a good thing for both of us. Again, and I just said, mm, mm, yeah. And I just say, my synchronicity, healing heart. You're a powerful healer and keep up with your work. And this can also be talking about you after everything you will go through and experience. This will help you to heal yourself, to heal your relationship with your daughter. And to give this to other people, I really feel one day you're going to be somebody who's making a difference. So maybe I'll see you, in, see you in this channel. It's also saying this is happening because it's wanting you, just like I said, life wanted you, it's going to stand you going down the wrong road. So now it's breaking you free to try different ventures, ventures, oh yeah, and experiences as a way to grow and learn. Keep going forward. This thing's like the angel. I'm going to hear my mouth great. <laughs> It's like an angel watching over you. So, but keep moving forward. This is taking you to that soul family. This is taking you where you're meant to go. Like I said. And we had this card out the whole time. Wow. Maybe even, like I said, work with crystals here. I mean, 
I see a whole bunch of them on Wish. I can even get them for free. It's got to pay shipping. This one broken because, well, the cat knocked it over too. That's my rose quartz. So I probably should get a new one. Maybe that's why the love hasn't manifested already by now. And this was given to me by a friend who also watched this channel. So thank you. See, look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to get a few more. Um, you know, get one of your favorite one. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. The t starts with the T. It's very pretty. Um, I can't say it. I want to say it wrong. But that can also help. And also it's so helpful. You guys can see very pretty. Now, we're almost done here and like I said this is using this long but you know what I'm going to give you just a little bit extra because I just want to do that for you because I'm a helpful person and I can see that one day you will be a helpful person too and know that you have somebody to lean on really and this channel has got your back and they want you to lean on and know that again someone wants to help you think of whom that might be an intimate contact or just somebody in you know your real life so but literally everybody who's watching this I may not know you in person, I may never meet in person, but I do these videos for you guys because I've been, you know, I've had it, I've experienced, you know, some shit, and my life hasn't been easy, as in it, I don't think it really was, I mean, it wasn't too bad of a childhood, but now that I think about some things, it wasn't, I could have had a better one, but I actually, it's all forgiven because my parents the best they can, but you can't do anything about it now, so I just think it's Jordan Van Camp, that's what it was, sorry guys, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But, um, you know, I want to make sure every, like, I wrote this beautiful thing. It's like I was, I think, in one of my other videos. Everything I went through is now being put to good and tests by helping you guys. And, like, I was talking to one of the people today from my other job. Oh, oh, you want to go in? No, I can't go. Um, he's like, well, I'm finished. And she was like, you know, it's finally nice to be able to talk to somebody that actually understands. And it's, like, really not just wanting to get something. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here, first of all, for first and foremost, you guys. And to be able to make money on top of that, because it's my life purpose, that's a bonus. It's a bonus to be able to do something I'm naturally good at and always been at. Something that will be something that helps to bring, you know, um, favor to God and to follow my life purpose. And something that I'm always interested in outside of it. And it helps me feel good, but mostly you guys. That is why I do this channel. That's why I do these free readings. You know, but I do have to make a living after a while. But I'm willing to give away some for free. I'm willing to help people out. You guys can do email me. Not every time I get an email is because somebody wants to get a reading. A lot of people, and I love when you guys do email me. You guys write really in depth things. And sometimes I'll talk to you. Know that I'm here for you no matter what. This is for you guys. Now that I'm finally saved, but you know, I'm not really saved completely, but I am saved because I accepted Jesus. I'm a savior, but I'm not trying to preach that because it raises the right to believe what they want to believe. Um, but I just wish the best for everybody at the same time. Um, I hope we all just get to be happy one day in a place where you don't have to die. Um, but I can say, you know, this is for you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing here. And, make sure it's still recording. Definitely, here's a need to call an expert. More information is needed. You can contact someone with expertise in this area. How do we start this reading? Ex reading, I'm sorry. Explore your options. How do we end it? Consult an expert. How do we start this with me? How do we end it? I'm just kidding. No, but definitely. You know, thank you again for, you know, emailing and inquiring about that, you know, by looking to your options and definitely do that. And, you know, through your situation, maybe is it important to consult an expert or, you know, just to talk to somebody. Talking does help here. So, a few more cards here. I don't know why I put these in this one. Oops. Okay, so I put them in the wrong one. Let's get a few more for you, lady. That's because I'm in the re. And like I said, usually these aren't this long. But this is special for special if I, not that everybody's, everybody's special, but some cases need to be a little bit extra more attention. I got you. So. Memories. Courage. Maybe there's some memories that might help you to be more courageous, or maybe this experience one day will, when you look back at it, will help you to be fearless. And, you know, know that, you're not. In that, I mean, it could be retirement, but just know that one day you're going to have a, be able to rest from everything from this. And, you know, this is all taking you so that you can rest. You know, you will get rest, I see, very soon. And this also, for me, when the memory thing, there's a reason why I'm doing this. I want people also to be very much aware. I'm going to try to do a video about this, too. The importance of how important it is to be aware and be informed of mental health 
and you know illnesses because I have depression and I have ADHD well not I don't know for sure about the ADHD I just think I do um but my personality is kind of like that but I have depression and anxiety naturally and it runs in my family and also the importance of you know addiction and how that affects people it doesn't have to be always drugs it can be shopping it can be any kind of addiction anything that's too obsessed or on overindulging is not good for you and you know everybody's role that plays in it and to help heal that and for mental illness to help those to be healed or feel more comfortable this is something to do with this and the memories and experiences are helping me be courageous enough to put this video out here and to help talk about this with others so and i found today too from somebody that um at least in new jersey there's a thing called one stop it's through like the county like I don't know, like a social service thing, but it's something to do with the school. And it's for those who are inquiring about maybe becoming like a drug or alcohol counselor. So wherever state you're in, maybe look into that. That I thought was very cool because that's very close to my home anyways. So know that like, you know, when you are fearless, you're unstoppable. Nothing can stop you. And sometimes the ones who are the hardest, because one day they're the ones who are going to be the leaders. They're the ones who are going to be the healers. And... They're the ones going to be flying high, skydiving, hopefully. There's also something about changing your mind. And again, like I said, there is rest that's going to this. Know that there is rest with this. Maybe this will help you to change your mind today. Something about volunteering. Maybe it's something with me volunteering my time. As well as with a new exercise program. Um, this new exercise program can actually be a new exercise program, it can be a diet program, it can just be a way, like I said, changing your things, changing your thoughts, something like that. Some kind of new routine or, you know, you know, something that you do as a program, so to speak, that will help to bring in these positive changes. And this volunteer thing, I'm seeing with this, let me say, well, first of all, let me try meditating these real fast. I want you to know that you are stronger than you know. And turn that for a second. Like I said, this also may really help you to change your mind, to change your perspective of things, to maybe see that things are not so, even though it really may actually be, but I mean, not that it really ever is, because as long as you're breathing, I said, but to help by changing your mind of things or just looking at things in a different way, because you know you're stronger and you know that, again, the worst is behind you, it will help by changing your mind to help change things. And for this volunteer thing, maybe something with volunteering might help you out. Maybe volunteering with, but maybe for somebody who's watching this, if this doesn't relate with the person who's watching this exactly, because she was kind enough and generous. Um, for the nice of the drug and alcohol thing, maybe somebody, you know, volunteering with helping out people that are dealing with that or mental illness might help you guys to appreciate more about, you know, or understanding more about those who do suffer it, because it is, you know, a lot more common. And it's not that we are like, you know, People have it. People have depression regularly. Like, you know, we all have a little bit of everything. Or this can also lead you into a new career. Maybe that this is somehow going to lead you. Maybe, you know, this experience, like I said, or, you know, with the drug and alcohol thing, whatever, like I was just saying, or something about healing. Or one day you can be somebody who's somebody they, they go to. You know, I really feel this experience not only something of life changing and bringing about new things, but I really feel it has something to do with, with a career change one day, volunteering. Maybe, you know, because this is very much um, spiritually, you know, this is for your spiritual growth. This is because of your religion or your beliefs. This is something that was faded. We got lots of love here. And we have here your third eye chakra and communication. So like I said, somebody that's going to be able to talk to you. I really feel that. I really feel that you're going to be somebody that one day is going to be a person that they can go to for something like this. And last but not least time for you to welcome the new because the best is yet to come so take flight move forward and i was hoping that was a text message again you guys that wasn't it <laughs> but you know what somebody else might get a text message so lucky you right <laughs> it's also my phone like i can't even tell if i get a notification anymore it's kind of like unless i watch it my phone is so well i'm gonna be right back in number 44 i see very soon, I can't tell if I get, it doesn't show me if I notification more for my time messages or calls, like, so if I don't know if you guys are my friends watching this, I don't worry back. Well, I mean, I've been having a problem with that for, like, the last couple years, you know, but that's fine now, but I get this iPhone 6 next couple of days. 
then it's gonna be good and hopefully good again. I just need it to last just a little longer and then I get to get the pink iPhone. So anyways, that's your reading. I hope you enjoy. I hope that this brought you some clarity and answers. If you guys are interested in getting, getting a personal reading with me or just wanna to talk to me, um, all my information is in the description box below. Like I said, these are not usually that long, but this is a very special case. So I wanna give it a little bit extra special and I just wanna give it to everybody. So, you know, don't ever think if, oh, her reading's longer or their reading's shorter. That doesn't mean, you're, you know, your self-worth is any less. Everybody's situation is very unique to them. And there's a reason for everything with that. Trust that. But I hope that you enjoy this. And um, I'll talk to you soon. And um, yeah, thank you, Kim, for sharing with this survey. Okay, bye.